Hi, welcome back to another episode of Dora's AirPods Pro tutorial. For today, we'll be continuing making a keyframe motion with this AirPods. So to start with, uh, we will be making this paragraph. First, let's create a container with a width of 980 and 100 VH. Then I'm going to use vertical center to make it in the center. Now let's close the color. So I'm going to name it as S5 fix. And I've pre-made the paragraph text and the information of the color is where my mouse points. So for the first two paragraphs, I'm going to set it as left align. And for the third paragraph, it's going to be right align. I'm going to set the first paragraph's bottom uh, constraint to 26 VH, which is connecting it to the S5 fix container. And the second one as zero and the third one as top and the top of the third one as 20 vh i'm going to close it for right now and i'm going to create another container which is 100 vw 100 vh we need to bind the top of this container to the bottom of our last container like the one we made in the last tutorial and close the color i'm going to name it as s5 move so by having two separate containers uh, we can animate different stuffs and I'm going to import the AirPods image. The size would be 368 and the height would be hug and set the image characteristics as contained. And I'm going to place it in the center, which is horizontal center, vertical center. And now you can see it's in, totally in the center. And next, I'm going to put the second earphone inside. Uh, the width would be the same, 368 and the height would be hug. Place it in the center as well. And this is the earphone one. And this one is the earphone two. I'm gonna Im import the third earphone. All the dimensions are the same. So I'm gonna start to animate the first one, which is earphone one. And let's open the keyframe. Uh, let's set the S5 move as the driver. And let's go to 99, add a keyframe, go to 100, add another keyframe, and click on the fixed view. So here I want to briefly explain about what fixed view means. So now if you put a stuff inside the canvas, the position is fixed in the same place. So if your viewport moves, then it's going to disappear. So the stuff that you set as fixed view would follow the viewport until when you stop the fixed view. And now let's select the earphone one, add a keyframe at 100, and drag to 157, add another keyframe as well. I'm gonna set the width as 335. For here, make sure that your image is linked. So it's gonna shrink down proportionally. Add a keyframe at 146, and going back to 157, set the opacity as 0. By doing so, the earphone is going to start to shrink from 100 and start to lower the opacity at 146. And next, let's go to the text group one. At 100, let's add a keyframe. At 110, add another keyframe. 120, 128. So at 128, we want to set it as 0. At 100, set it as 0. So this will create a fade in, stay for a while, then fade out effect. And let's set the second text group. Start from 128 with 0%, 138, 100%, 148, 100%, and 157, 0%. And the third text group, 157, 0%, 148, 
one seven zero a hundred percent one eight one a hundred percent at a keyframe one nine one zero percent also for keyframe as well and let's set the ear frame too. Let's add a keyframe at 157. Remember to link the image and go to 191 and set the width at 335. Add keyframes at 170 and 180. And let's go back to 157. Set the opacity at 0. And go to 191 and set the opacity at 0 as well. I need to enlarge my canvas and let's work on the third earphone. We will be starting at 181. And here the width we want to set it at 344.7 because the effect here, earphone 2 gradually become earphone 3. So we want to make sure these two earphones have the same size. And go to 191, let's set it at 335, the width. And at 181, we want the opacity would be 0. Then we add a keyframe at 200, it stays the same at 100 opacity. And let's go to 248, add another keyframe, and the opacity will become 0. So now let's import the background video, 100VW, 100VH. Select the third tab, import the video. We're going to put it in, inside the S5 container as well. And click horizontal align, vertical align. Put this video under the earphone so it's gonna show behind. And now starting at 190, I'm gonna add a keyframe and set the visibility at false and go to 191. Add a keyframe at 200, add another keyframe at 248, and the opacity at 248 should be zero. So it's going to start to fade out at 200. Then I'm going to create this text box. So there's three lines of text and also constrain their uh, gap. So the third paragraph with the second paragraph should be 48. And the second paragraph with the first paragraph would be 24. And I'm going to group them together and set the width at 980. The height would be hub. And set it as center. And I'm going to bind it to the bottom of S5 fixed. And set the gap as 100 VH. And this is going to make sure it's responsive. Okay, now, now let's check. When we scroll down, we will see the text coming up and the ear pods changing as well. And at last, the video and the earphone will fade away and the text box will come up. And that's all for today and see you in the next episode.